We're back at our 1984 mobile home property. This is our investment property. Not our home, but we are fixing it up and doing a full complete renovation on it. So far, we're still in demolition mode. We gutted the master bedroom, the bathroom, minor bedroom, and now today, we're gonna to be starting on the living room. We got our dumpster delivered. We're going with a 20 yard this time. It's gonna make it a lot easier to fill yeah, because Ashley can actually reach over the edge and see what she's doing. Yep. And Ashley wanted to show you guys, remember that big rose bush we cut down just a couple months ago? Already sprouted back in full force. We got tons of blooms. So all of this growth up to my belly. It's brand new. Came back. We just chopped it right down to the ground and that's what already formed. Look at that. Yeah. So here we are at the front door entering into the living room. It's pretty dark in here. First thing I'll do is try to open up the windows so you guys can have some light. But here's the living room. Probably 16 by 13. We got some mirrors on the wall, ceiling fan, cathedral ceiling, and a carpet. The smell in here is very strong. In fact, it's kind of choking me out right now. Maybe I'll turn on my respirator and at least filter some air coming down. It smells like dog. In case you haven't seen it, here's the rest of the house. We've done a lot of gutting so far. Boy, we have a truly humongous window AC unit right here we'll have to get rid of. All right, I'm going to be putting my helmet down and getting to work, so I'm going to go quiet for a while. But, here's the beginning. Can I have that sledgehammer?
We're making big progress on the living room demo. You guys saw we got all the walls stripped down, insulation out. We still have to do the ceiling, but it's getting so dark in there that I'm gonna take a break because I want you guys to see this. But you can hear it, it's raining. So we're taking a little break, rain delay break. Luckily we have this porch to hang out on, out of the smell, out of the rain. Yeah, even though the stench wafts out at us. I don't know if you guys can see it, yep. We actually took this time also to set up our scaffold. We brought the scaffolding with us so that I can work on that cathedral ceiling a little bit easier. So, I guess we'll wait until it stops raining. Yep. Okay, the rain is letting up. We have a little bit more light in here. I'm gonna take down the ceiling fan.
Well guys, I'm dirty, but we're done. We got this living room completely gutted. I almost thought I couldn't finish today because I forgot my knife, but I was able to get the carpet out in one big heavy piece. And that carpet was nasty. It was worse than I expected. It looked like it was just filled with dog urine. I have no idea. It was just stains everywhere, deep stains. And honestly, it already smells better in here. Just the five minutes that it's been out, it already smells like the, it's improving. I think that this carpet was the, really the center of the odor problem in this house because it was so filled with dog hair and probably urine and just filth. Luckily, the plywood doesn't look too bad. A couple of small stains here and there. I can see there's some spots that have been patched. What I'll do is later on when we're renovating, I'll, I'll sand down anything that looks gross. If it has staining or odors that are still embedded, we'll either replace it or we'll seal it with a good sealer so that the odors are trapped and can't come out. Uh, the framing is mostly okay. As usual, we have some weak spots around the windows. We'll frame that up better later on. You can see we didn't touch the AC unit. The thing is heavy, it's big. I'll get rid of that later. The rain is still going. But progress made, and we only have one more room to gut in this entire house, the kitchen. Well, we'll say it's a kitchen dining room, but... And look how insane this is looking. All gutted out. The scaffold is a little oversized for this project, but it made my job so much easier. Being able to just roll it around, cut those ceiling panels down. And you can see we still have a lot more cleanup to do. We have a lot of loose insulation. I need to knock down in the rafters, trusses. Obviously we're gonna do a full clean sweep. We gotta pull up some vinyl flooring, get that out of here from the bathroom in the hallway. Uh, when we're done with the kitchen, we're gonna go through here and just vacuum clean. Like uh, this whole place will be pretty fresh. Just wanted to share with you guys the progress today that we're working on the mobile home again and moving forward and so looking forward to the rebuild process. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of work. It's probably going to be a lot of stress because, you know, when you dig into this stuff, you know you're always going to find more and more problems. But I think we can handle it. So stay tuned for that. That's all we have for now, though. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.